Hi everyone. So today I'm going to show you something very interesting. This is not a workflow. Actually, I was trying to create my own custom node, and I think I have created one which is pretty awesome. This is the one magic photo prompter. So I'll show you what it does. And uh, actually, this one is not available currently in the manager, Comfy UI manager. I am actually trying to get it. Uh, on Comfy UI Manager, but I'll show you a way you can uh, use it and install it in a very easy manner. I'll give the links where you can download. And let's talk about what it does. It is a pretty basic prompt. You have already seen this workflow. Yeah, in my previous videos, I generally use this workflow. Now, here is a text box where we input the prompt. What we can do is. we can copy and then we can paste it here right for to get this what you need to do is basically you have to go to this link i'll provide the link uh, in my description so go to my github page i actually made it today only i didn't have a github account for youtube so uh, this is the first thing which i have put here Now you see Comfy UI Merlin Magic Photo Prompter. Now for those who use Git and you know, basically you go here, you copy this, and you can Git clone the project in the custom nodes folder of Comfy UI. You have to go to Comfy UI folder. There is a custom nodes folder where all the custom nodes are there. Custom node folders are there. You just have to Git clone it. But a lot of people. who are not comfortable using git or uh, can be any reason why they don't use git i am just showing you you can download the zip in the zip you have a folder with the same name as comfy ui merlin just copy it go and paste it in the custom notes folder restart your comfy ui that's it you don't need to do anything else so once you do it double click If you write magic, you can see this is a magic photo prompter, and this is a prompting tool. So what I'll do is that I'll copy this whole Cinderella thing, and I'll delete. So one string is going as an output, and you have to provide it wherever the normal prompt box was going. Now here the most interesting part is. I have provided a lot of options like for camera you can choose all of these cameras you can choose composition shots there is time of day and there are different color gradings as well lighting there is ring light there is loop lighting everything and some uh, environments as well so let's select one camera for something like this i'll actually you can see i'll fix the seed here i have fixed the seed so you can see that with this same prompt and another thing is that you don't even need to write photograph of because this is actually included so uh, because this is included uh, whenever like you put any kind of prompt just start writing like a man a woman or anything and it will already put like photograph or anything in between before sending it to the uh, next node so this is mainly for uh, photographs only you uh, cannot create uh, anime style or uh, artwork style uh, images well but for photo i have seen it works very good and i'm just going to show you this so for something like this which i was trying out composition shot i'll go with silhouette and time of day let's say midnight now remember one thing uh, there are some of the options which can be uh, present in two or three categories as well so for example in lighting you can see golden hour in composition shot there is also a golden hour so you have to choose any one of them that is not a big deal another thing is that when you are choosing don't just choose randomly because for example in lighting you can see there is i think there is a window lighting somewhere i have put uh, window lighting and actually these are not these are just keywords here 
uh, the string actually adds up a full prompt of uh, what kind of like midnight what is midnight or uh, like descriptive uh, sentence so the ai can understand it is not that it is just uh, adding up normal words here so if you choose let's say a lighting as window lighting and then you choose something where it is night so the ai can sometimes get uh, confused because uh, in window lighting we generally choose a daytime that is when the light is coming from the outside so uh, try to choose something which is like uh, situated uh, with each other uh, it is not completely like abruptly choosing anything randomly something which matches with each other and uh, i think you will go be good to go so let's just choose this and you can keep none as well so i have chosen these three and uh, i'll just show you what happens so i'll q1 now for the silhouettes i'll change it to uh, let's say centered composition and in midnight i'll go to golden hour and i'll queue the prompt and i'll show what kind of images are being uh, made and remember this is the fixed seed so for the same seed and for the same prompt what changes can we create just using this node yeah so the generations are complete so firstly we tried this one this one was in midnight silhouette and you can see it came out pretty good the hands and everything now the second one that we gave the prompt as centered composition and golden hour right so the composition looks very beautiful you can see that the blue dress the golden hour composition that we wanted and the light interacting you can see through the dress it looks amazing the only problem which i found was that her eyes were completely like she was looking haunted so i just enabled the face detailer and you can see this was her face it turned into this and now this seems pretty beautiful so this looks actually amazing and here you can actually select anything there are color gradings as well there are some kind of lightings so if you have chosen like spotlight or something with this so uh, it kind of creates different effects you know because we are taking midnight we are taking silhouette but the, when we are also adding on top of it a spotlight how the light would interact and you can get something pretty uh beautiful or pretty creative sometimes uh, the output cannot be that great if you are randomly choosing something but uh, it's good to play around with it so you get a hang of what is going on and yeah if you even want to learn prompting like what is happening behind the scenes right so you can go here and there is a node called show text so next time whenever you queue the prompt if you uh, use show text you can actually see what the final uh, string was like the final prompt was so it will be the photograph of beautiful woman as cinderella and this whole part then it will be shot by canon eos r7 centered composition and everything like uh, the lighting uh, how is the lighting of golden hour and everything like that so you can see the prompt here as well so if you want to learn you can do that but if you think that that is too overwhelming you can just play around with it and otherwise you can also use it as a normal prompt box just select none and nothing will be added and it becomes a normal prompting box so whatever you want to do these all are optional the only thing required is the prompt so you can try it out and uh, obviously if you have any kind of questions or suggestions you can uh, provide it in the comment section and i would try to reply Thank you.